Hey guys, I'm Kathy with IEPA English Academy. Today we're going to learn how to read basic math expressions in English. Let's start. What is the name of this math expression? A fraction. The number two is at the top and we call this the numerator. Below the line is number three and we call this the denominator. And how can we read this? two-thirds. Always read the top number first, followed by the bottom number using ordinal numbers. What is an ordinal number? You can see some examples such as first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. These number names show the position of something in a series. You might hear ordinal numbers used with specific dates, such as January 1st, or February 5th. So let's practice reading these math expressions. Two thirds. Good. Next, one sixteenth. There is no S at the end because one is singular. Then we have five sevenths. Make sure you use the S at the end of all words that are plural. Okay, here's a little different one. How can we read this? One second? No. This is an exception, so we read this as one half. Okay, one more time. The first one is two thirds. Second, one sixteenth. Third, five sevenths. Last, one half. Remember, it is the exception. Okay, let's review. What is this math problem? A fraction, good. Okay, let's keep moving. What are these numbers called? The top number two is the numerator. The bottom number three is the denominator. Don't forget, when you read the denominator, you need to use ordinal numbers. What is an ordinal number? A number showing the position of something in a series. How can you read this fraction? It is the exception, right? So instead of one second, we say one half. Very good. Okay, please practice, practice, practice. Bye for now. Annyeong.